The history of gangs in St. Paul goes far back as the days of John Dillinger and Al Capone. Do you think gangs are an issue in St. Paul? Yes, I do. I think gangs are a little bit of an issue in St. Paul, but it's not a concern really for me personally. I hear a lot on the news that there's a lot of gang violence. I don't know if it's true. I don't think so. There, I think there are a lot of gangs in school. I think there, there are a lot of gangs, like you walk down the street, you see, I mean, you can't go to the Taste of Minnesota anymore wearing certain colors without, like, without getting beat up or something. Yes, I understand from the news media that gangs are an issue in St. Paul. Do gangs affect your community? No, not that I've heard of. Not right here. I live right in this neighborhood, and I haven't seen any evidence of gangs or gang violence in my neighborhood. I never really hear anything about it, so maybe only on like news and newspaper. Yes, they affect my community because some of my uh, family members, they died in my area because of gang-related issues. The gangs that I know of that are in St. Paul are Rice Street Gang, Bang Out Boys. Just recently I found out about they got this gang downtown St. Paul, Fifth and Minnesota Boys, um, Crips, Bloods, GDs, Vice Lords, Blackstones, you got their little cliques. Uh, you have uh, Latin Kings, MS-13s, then you have... Blood, Crip, GDs, uh, Bang Out Boys, that's a click, Selby Side, Click, um, East Side, uh, MS-13s, Latin Kings, uh, Blackstones, and that's it. The way I dress is one of a person who is involved with the hip hop culture, which is baggy clothes, sometimes sagging, sometimes not, super baggy clothes. White t-shirts, baseball caps, chains, jewelry. Like the way I dress is probably like, like a thug sometimes. Cause I hang around, I just don't hang around with people, like just hang around by myself. I have to have a, big swarm of group, like most of them will dress like me. Some of them will dress like a nerd, like they just got done studying out of the library. My name is Stephen Cobb. I work with youth in the Twin Cities area. I think the most popular place that gangs hang out generally is the gas station. And the reason why it's the gas station is because now the main hangout is the only place people can't really shoo you away is the gas station. But things used to be a whole lot fun for teenagers. You could go a lot more places, but because people are afraid that gang violence could, um, could happen or could jump off, they generally try to, you know, cut back on teen access or activity. The kids that get involved in gangs, they're the ones in court going to jail or being buried. They're pawns on the chessboard. I was 10 years old when I was recruited by a gang. I witnessed drugs, killings, and violence when I was a gang member. Uh, I guess I'm considered a community activist. I'm Reverend Spence. I'm a minister in the neighborhood. Well, the God Squad uh, is an organization of ministers and lay people who have decided that our calling is to be street ministers, to be there, uh, to be the uh, communication link between law enforcement and the community. This year, it seems like they've begun to hang out at recreation centers. Uh, Jimmy Lee Rec, uh, over in North End there at the recreation center. Um, throughout the city. Uh, the east side is uh, the St. Paul Parks and Rec. Wherever they're at, that's where our gangs seem to hang out at. Our gangs, the ones that are considered the baddest of the bunch right now, were started on the basketball court. I was there. Uh, approximately 
Uh, Ten years ago, we were running a program, PAL, Police Athletic League, where police officers were coaching young folks. Those young folks, uh, one day we had to pick teams. And when they picked the teams, the police officer said, well, since you live on that side of the street, we'll call you E-Block, representing Edmond Avenue. And since you live on this side, we'll call you Selby side. And then from there was born these gangs. These gangs never existed until that day. How do you stop gang violence? Uh, you can't. I think what you have to do is stop gang people one by one, just like in anything, you have to begin to just win one at a time. I think through education and um, youth programs, through the community, um, family support I think is very important as well, family involvement with their own children and knowing where they are and what they're up to. Start getting to know them, talking back and forth with one another, and learning what's their hardship and everything, and maybe kind of help them from there. Where they tore down all that stuff around University and Lexington was a big roller skating rink. Across the street from that was a bowling alley. On the corner of Dale and University was a movie theater, two movie theaters. There were always things to do. You got nothing to do now. It's a social and an economic issue. And I think one of the most direct ways to help people with gangs is to have places, centers, They've proven this works where people can go, young kids can go to bond with each other, to do things that are interesting, and it keeps them off the streets. It keeps them from recruiting new people into gangs. Just announced today, uh, actually, is a new initiative that we've partnered with the police department with. It's called Stopped Armed Gang Activity Saga, where they've identified the baddest of the bunch, the top 60 African American gang members have been identified and we're going to go reach out to these young men and give them opportunity to turn their life around. I think that's going to be a major uh, accomplishment if we can get just a few of those guys to see that there's another side of life. So yeah, we're trying to curb the violence in our streets. I would recommend that kids should not join gangs because it leaves nothing but death and jail. We need to stop the violence. We need to increase the peace. We need to learn how to create a unified community. Put down your guns, hold out your arms and hands. Make truces, peace. Peace is what we need on the streets. Police and our child coming riding down, riding down, riding down. Police and our child coming riding down, and you know you don't want to go. Hanging around the skin gang, sure get you down, sure get you down. Hanging around the skin gang, will sure get you down. If you hang around the skin gang too long.